When doing peritoneal dialysis, we have to check the waste fluid. It should be clear. You should be able to read through it. As you can see, this is turbid or cloudy. This is one of the first signs and symptoms of peritonitis. Um, at this time, you should call the doctor and get a, an order for culture and sensitivity and also a cell count. After gathering our supplies, we need to wash our hands. But before we wash our hands, we need to mask. We use a mask. We then rewash our hands because we've contaminated when we put our mask on. So we, then we glove. On, on our drain bag, we have a port here. This is where we draw our cultures from. We use a betadine solution either the pad or the solution. Today I'm going to use the pad. We open the pad and we clean our port with friction and then I we get our butterfly. I suggest the 21 gauge or bigger if you have it. It's um, hard to draw up. This is the port, as I said. You remove the betadine. And without touching or contaminating, we enter without going all the way through. The butterfly twists sometimes. So rather than it twisting, I just like to anchor it in place. At this time, we use our lavender tube for the cell count. And we get our 60 cc syringe because we have to draw up 50 cc's. With our hemostats or clamps. Remove. Attach the syringe. And here we draw up 50 cc's. Once we have drawn our 50 cc's, I clamp, remove the tape and the needle. We get a sterile cap. place that on the end. We discard this in our sharps container. We then replace this back into the container. We actually put our labels on the syringe itself and on there. We have our biohazard bag. We place this in here. As you can tell, the syringe is too big for the bag, so we suggest to place it inside another clear bag. Seal it up and send it to the lab.